safety is always a priority when down by the water. And your number one safety device, of course, is the PFD. But what do you do if somebody falls overboard? Well, today's project, we're going to install a wireless man overboard system that will not only warn you if someone fell off the boat, but it will kill the engine at the same time. Now, the base pack comes with everything you need to get rolling. Inside, we've got an XFOB, the hub, and battery and the wiring you're going to need to install to your kill switch. It even comes with a few little butt connectors. The X-Hub will hook up to four different fobs, so you may want to pick up one of these handy wristbands. And you can add additional fobs as you go. Before we get started, we make sure to turn the main battery switch off so that nothing shorts during the install. Next, we want to consider the mounting location of the X-Hub on the console. It should be easy to reach and see for arming fobs, but not too close to any RF transmitters. Ultimately, we've decided a spot just behind the wheel on an angle that's easy to see, easy to engage, and easy to restart. And we've got to get access to the back of the instrument panel. Now, what we're looking for is the kill switch, which you can see right here. The man over board system simply plugs right in line with the existing kill switch. The wiring's fairly simple. You've got a red for positive and a black for negative that go to the ship's accessory system. We're gonna put a one to three amp fuse in between them. And for the kill switch, we've pigtailed in another set of leads that run to the X-Hub wiring harness. And basically, we're running this system in parallel to the existing kill switch. So we've retained the existing kill switch leads, but we've just pigtailed in a set of leads that run to the harness. Once you've got that together, we basically just plug it back in and we're ready to start cutting holes. Now, Thal Marine recommends a 2 and 1 16 inch hole saw bit, which is 52 millimeters. We couldn't find one. We're going to cut a 2 and 1 8, which is much more common, 54 millimeters. There should be enough space on the hub here to cover the hole. Before I press a hole saw to the gel and glass, I like to tape the area off. In my experience, this, along with a light touch, helps avoid chipping the gel. Let's do some drilling. Drilling fiberglass always makes a mess, so I try to vacuum at the same time where possible. Just don't let your better half catch you using the $500 Dyson. Wait, this is on TV, isn't it? The moment of truth. As long as you've drilled the right size hole, the X-Hub should slide right in. Now that we've drilled our hole and secured the X-Hub to the console, we've just got to plug in the wiring harness and the antenna. And you want to make sure the antenna is at least 10 centimeters away from anything electronic. And it's flexible, so if you have to bend it out of the way, you can. It'll bend up to 45 degrees. Convenient wristbands and lanyards are sold separately from the fobs, but are designed to fit together easily. And pairing the devices is really easy. Just hold the pairing down for three seconds. Hold the fob button down. So you get a double beep, and you are paired. And once you've got your wristbands paired, you don't have to pair them again. But when you do get on the boat, you do have to arm them so the system knows you're ready to go. Just push the button once, and you can arm each one. Now all three are armed and ready to go. To see how the system works out on the lake, we asked a few volunteers if they wanted to go for a boat ride. This MOB Plus wireless system allows you to connect up to four separate fobs at a time. It wasn't that long ago I was on a boat where the dog went missing on the boat and no one knew where it was. We had to turn around and look. Well, guess where he was? Paddling behind the boat. Good thing he was wearing his own PFD. Now, there are two ways for these fobs to kill the engine. One, submerge it in more than four inches of water. And two, if it gets more than 50 feet from the boat, either way, engine will stop. Let's try it out. This test should be done before you leave the dock for the first time to verify that it stops the engine in the event of an emergency situation. Now, to get the engine going again, you've either got to push this with the person back on the boat or hold the override button for 10 seconds, and you can start the engine. Testing the system at the dock is one thing, but we wanted to know how it really worked out in the lake. Purely for scientific purposes, we're going to test one of these fobs in action. Sounds like a good idea? Yeah! All right, here we go. Well, there you have it. Work like a charm. These little X-Fobs are fantastic. And you know, for just a few hundred dollars and 45 minutes of your time, you can add a piece of technology that can really change the boating experience. And if you've got pets, 
you definitely want to know where they are all the time. When they disappear, it's nice to know if they're overboard, the engine stops right away.